In this video, I am going to show you how you can build an AI agent without writing a single line of code. Let's dive in. Let's try building an AI agent without writing even a single line of code. And Langflow is a platform that enables you to do that. How? We will see in this video. So if you search Langflow in Google, this is the link you are going to get the first link. And you can see langflow.org. First thing is Langflow is a low code tool for developers that make it easier to build powerful AI agents. So you don't need to write any code. So until or unless you are going to build a complex agent, you no need to write any code. So it's a low code or no code tool that help you to build AI agents. How? First of all, you have to click on get started for free. And you can come to this page. It will ask you for login. You can log in using Google or any other email ID. I have already logged in using Google. So it will take me to main page to the home page. So it is taking me to the home page as you can see. At the moment you come to home page, you will see my projects. And in the project, you can click on new flow. Once you click on new flow, it will give you some ready to use templates. For example, basic prompting. So here, basic prompting can be done. So if you click on this, you will see the components needed for that. Vector store, store rag template is there. You can use that and simple agent. So we are interested in simple agent. So let me try this simple agent first. At the moment, you import the simple agent. Few things to note here. So you can just, you know, make it larger or smaller using this lens icon here. So everything that you see here, every rectangle is called one component. Okay. For example, this is one component URL. This is one component calculator. This is one component agent. Fine. This is one component chat input. This is one component chat output. So let's try understanding if I want to add one more component, then how can I add? So on the left hand side, you see components is there. You can simply go and search agent. And in the agent, you can simply drag and drop this thing by clicking on plus symbol. So you can click plus, you can drag it here. So this is the same thing that you see in the background. So let me delete it for now. And similarly, if you go to tool section, you can bring in some tools. If you go to data section, you can bring in some data, uh, data sources, basically. Embedding section, you can bring in different kinds of embedding you can you want to do model section, what all models you want to use. So there are many components that we can bring in uh, in this flow. But let's try getting uh, let's try to get this flow running first. So to to run this flow, what you need to have is you need to have a model that you will use in your agent for that. You can use various options here. For example, in model provider, OpenAI, Amazon Bedrock, NVIDIA, different options are there. Let me go for Grok as it's a free option. And in Grok, I will use any of the model, but first I will need to paste my Grok API key. So let me get my key from the background. So I will get my key and I will paste it there. You are free to use any of the thing that you feel suitable for you, but you will need the key. So paste the key here. Once you paste the key, right? Let's select one of the model. So from Grok, I am selecting, let's say, let's say Llama 3.370B versatile. So this is the model I selected. As you can see, there is there is model provider, there is model, there is key, and there is one more thing called agent instructions. So currently it is the default instruction. So see here, you are a helpful assistant that can use tools to answer question and perform tasks. Use Markdown to format your answer uh, properly embedding images in URL. So this is the default thing instruction. I can I can edit it. So another thing to see here is in the tool section, you will see two tools are connected to this agent. One is calculator tool that perform basic arithmetic operation on given expression. Another is URL tool that loads and retrieve data from any given URL. Fine. This is basically web, web scrapping kind of thing. This is your calculator. There are two tools model is using and model will take the chat input from the prompt. I will just show you now and model will respond you in the chat output. Uh, agent, when I say model, you can think of agent. So agent will respond you. Now, uh, what I need to do is I need to be little uh, specific in the instructions saying, saying to the agent that if any mathematical 
operations need to be performed then use calculator tool and if user passes any url then use use url tool so i'm just saying i'm just making it little clear which tool to use for what purpose so this is something i have done now uh, you will see a playground button here so click on this playground button and click on this playground button and i can just ask some things to the model so click on this and go here and say hi hi how are you so i'm asking this to the agent let's see how the response comes so as you can see the response has come i am doing well thanks for asking is there something i can help you with so uh, i want to see if the model is using calculator tool so i will say what is 23 plus 12 divided by 16 so i am intentionally giving a mathematical operation let me see if it is calling my tool so in the in the flow right in the flow it will show you if it is calling a tool for example in this case it's not calling any tool input is this output is this so this response you are getting from model only but if it calls a tool right uh, it will be visible here for example you can see here uh, here executed calculator component evaluate expression so it is it has called a tool basically this symbol also you can see of tool so it has called a tool and it is giving you the response now what i want to do is i want to see if if the model is able to call the url tool also so let me take this url actually the uh, length flow url and i will give to the model so let me see if model is calling url tool because in the instruction i have told at the moment you see a url by user just call the url tool what should happen is the the scrapping should happen from that website it was taking longer so i just stopped and uh, give the same input again as you can see it has finished now and it is if i click on this right at the moment it saw the url it is clicking on uh, it is using this tool url fetch content it is hitting this website and kind of scrapping this website and then we are getting a response here so both the tools are working fine um, it is working as expected now one important thing is what if i want to use this api use this uh, agent that we have built with zero code in the front end or um, in uh, in any of our application or in our local machine right how to do that so for that you have to follow few steps one is click on this api go to python api click this entire code fine uh, copy this entire code then paste create a python file out of it so i will create a python file in my visual studio okay so let me create a python file from this so i will say um, test lf which means langflow.py so i will put here remember you should have langflow installed in your machine otherwise it will not run so if you don't have langflow it will not run you must have langflow in your machine and i will just close this you need to change one thing here if you want to run this in your local and that one thing is it will expect the application id don't worry about any code because anyway we are building a low code no code solution don't worry about any code just you have to go to your application and copy the token so here you see api calls require application token so generate token once the token is generated copy this token you can come to your application you can put in your application and you can save this and the way you can call this application is python your file python test lf what is whatever is your file and then prompt with what you want to call so here i will say please tell me use of keyboard in a computer so i'm just asking a simple thing just to see it is running or not so my agent will be called okay there is some requests module error coming so let me uh, close and reopen visual studio i think if i close and reopen it will be fixed so i have closed and reopened my visual studio and let me try to run the same code again so i will call this script uh, with 
some prompt so my prompt is for example what is the use of laptop while traveling okay so i just want to ensure that uh, my agent is running as expected so as this is running let's go to the uh, back end and try to understand few more things so here we have built this agent right i can make this agent very very rich and very very powerful doing few things what are those few things so if you search here you can give different kinds of data sources from api from file from directory sql queries you can have different kinds of model that you can give you can have different kinds of embedding you can use and so on and so forth so if you want to use langchain family there are things you can use if you want to use something else for example um, if you are comfortable in assembly ai kind of setup you can use these things so there are many things on the components that you can use and make your agent little more sophisticated and advanced i want to show you few things let me see if that run has finished so here as you can see a laptop while traveling right the use of laptop while traveling can be beneficial here are some ways so it is giving response don't worry about the format this anyway we need to parse when we are writing code for the consumption side so this is this is running so what we have done till now is we have built an agent completely from ui with zero lines of code and we are able to consume that agent in the code this code can go in any website any application or any uh, front end api wherever you want to use right you can use this let's go back to our agent and let's go to playground and let me ask let me start a new chat so whatever you are asking there that is showing here as well okay so whatever i asked right the use of laptop while traveling so that's fine now let let me start a new chat here and let me let me ask something which is a recent event for example can you tell me can you tell me who won uh, us president election in 2024 so i want the model to answer me something which is a recent event so all the model will have some time limitation right let me see if this model is if this agent is able to answer or agent is hallucinating or something so as you can see the model is saying i am not able to provide real time information predict future events but 2024 is not future so which is which is a clear indication that model is not able to give me latest news the 2024 presidential election has not yet occurred okay so let us make model capable that it can answer these kind of latest news questions basically it can go to internet and find the answer so i want to make model capable of doing that and for that what i want to do is i will go here and search something known as tavili ai search so tavili ai search is something that i can use as a tool so i am clicking on this and i can i can click on first of all tool mode at the moment you click on tool mode it will act as a tool for your agent so let me take it here and let me plug it here to my tools so if you see i'm plugging it to my tools remember the input output are different i mean all the inputs and all the outputs will not get plugged if it is a tool then only it will take the here as an input okay so this is your tool one thing that you need to give here is your tavili key you can generate your key from the Tavili website, but I have my key. I will simply go ahead and put that key and then we will ask the same question. I will modify a little bit the instruction to the model as well. So first of all, let me put the key. I am just fetching from the background. So this is my key. Fine. This is receiving input. And now I want to change the instruction a little bit. I will simply say um, if any question is asked about a recent event or a news then use tavili ai search tool to get the answer so what i'm saying is if it's a recent event or something that you you do not know then go and use this tool so I, i'll say finish editing and then i will open the playground and i will just initialize a new chat and i will copy the same prompt now 
let me initialize a new chat. I will copy the same prompt. Let's see what happened this time. So as you can see, it is accessing Tavili search component fetch context. And it is very nicely using that tool with this query. It is trying to, you know, fetch the information from the internet. It is getting some responses. And finally, very nicely, it is giving you the winner of US president election was Donald Trump. So, which means your agent is more capable now because it has got one more tool. What you can do next is you can play around with adding more tools, adding more, you know, if you want to support with some databases, embeddings, whatever. And you can play around with this. I already showed you how you can use this in front end. You can create a streamlit wrapper on top of that, call it from that. And there are many things you can do. I'm excited to see what you build out of it. Build some things and me in comment so that I can go and see. Tag me in LinkedIn and show me your work on this. And your, as always, your likes and comments are my motivation. See you all in the next video, guys, wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.